Welcome back guys to another video and in this video we're going to start the full-on teardown of Jezebel the Blue Ratty Charger and I hope you enjoy my sweet ass hat squared that up eBay oh yeah so now I can be a true direct connection race team member <laughs> I love this hat this thing's cool but this is my nice go showy hat so am I gonna get it all shitty but the first things first is we need to get all these fluids out of this car. Namely, the antifreeze. We need to drain the transmission so we don't leak any tranny fluid. And do all that kind of fun stuff. Get the battery out of it. And just do all the little things. And then we're going to, of course, pull the valve covers, protect them, get the headers off. Change the intake out for Daniel. Pull my distributor. Get my carburetor off there. Of course, that comes with the intake. So, <clears throat> hope you guys enjoy. We're going to start the teardown. All right, guys, just want to show you some progress. We've got valve cover off, header off on this side, all spark plug wires removed, power steering pump, fan. And just want to show you how clean it is inside this engine. Those were Lunati Voodoo Springs that we put on, and you can still see the paint stripe on them. Everything looks really clean inside the engine, minus just a little dirty. Oil needs changed, but that'll happen when we change the oil pan, so. I'm going to get on the other side, get that other header off, get that other valve cover off, and keep trucking. Alrighty, guys. Well, here's your update. Radiator's out. Both headers are completely disconnected. Getting ready to jack the carb so I can drag them out from underneath. And by the way, if anybody wants to know how to change spark plugs out of Mopar, take your headers off. <laughs> it's an absolute bitch to get in where those spark plugs are with the headers on. Or manifolds make it a little bit easier, but yeah. Show you an old trick that I got taught a while back. Oh, how to get headers to seal temporarily is double up manifold gaskets but I mean it's not permanent but I've been starting to use nothing but copper header gaskets that's what the darts got on it and well copper don't blow out like fiber and shit does people think that Remflex gasket the real thick one I've tried those those burn out just as quick as anything else so really the best thing to do is get a metal style header gasket like copper or those stainless steel shim ones or the aluminum ones so but we're gonna get those son of a guns pulled and then see what else we can mess up today well hey guys welcome back to another day it is hot so i got a haircut yesterday mainly because i got my sweat rag on my old bandana because i am the karate kid and speaking of karate kid you know we got the cart up on the engine stand on the wheel chocks just takes a little scott power no we use dad's crane <laughs> but uh we got the car up here it's safe it don't wiggle too much so now we can do all the fun stuff like pulling these headers out which they should slide out after a lot of cuss words and things like that but uh i'm gonna get that done get all the gotta drain all the transmission fluid out of the you know, the transmission right there you know that thing get the pan swapped over and uh Probably just gonna leave the engine oil in it for now until we go to drain the uh, change of oil pan over to go into Daniel's truck and uh, get the transmission ready to be pulled so we can pull this whole drivetrain out in one big old whack. So that's what I'm gonna work on. I am not going to worry about doing any kind of speedy footage because there'll be plenty of that to come in the future. So stay tuned. All right, guys. Well, it's kind of cooled off in a way maybe it's just all the sweat and getting used to the heat today but we got the tea out here with a number of big icebergs in there it's got a facebook message but uh show you i got one header out that was a pain in the butt for some reason those things going a lot easier than they come out and it broke my starter that the bolts were so tight that it broke the bolt which i've never had happen before but just drained the transmission cleaned it out and the oil pan and that header is being a bitch we got this drag link off which i've never had to take off to put headers on before to put them on but i had to drop it to get the other header out and this one i'm wondering if it just moved everything over a little bit maybe this one come out but it's just being an absolute bastard to get out but uh getting there for sure just a lot of work taking her apart kind of disheartening really this car's been together for so long but all I know is when it's back together and done, she's going to be bad ass. So, just give you an update, and we'll get back to work. Well, got it. Finally. 
I ended up taking the engine loose, getting the jack out and a block of wood, jacked the engine up just enough. In fact, the engine's sitting kind of crooked now. That's fine. And with that little bit of leverage, I was able to pry that dirty bastard out of its hole. So now it's basically get all the little shit undone, temperature gauge, fuel lines, wiring, get the transmission unhooked, and then we can uh, start thinking about whoop, ripping it right on out. But that's gonna wait till probably tomorrow. It's tomorrow, Saturday, technically. And we'll have dad here, and we get all this crap out of here, and then really start thinking about what we're gonna be doing next. All right, guys, I'm gonna refilm this. Sorry, uh, I just realized that there was a bunch of shit on the camera lens, like tranny fluid or something, which is very possible because just got done ripping all the tranny lines out of the car, which were just hose because we didn't have lines at the time and they worked fine. Got all the shifter stuff unbolted, unhooked, so transmission is separated from the car itself. It's still attached to the engine. And we're gonna get all of this other little stuff disconnected. I'm hoping to have this engine transmission out this weekend. But let me just show you how incredibly hot it is today. Now, of course, for all my friends out in the desert, they're like, oh, that's no big deal. <laughs> well, here in Kansas, it's 94 degrees with a real feel of 104 degrees, 34% chance of rain, very high humidity, and literally, I think next Monday is going to be the nicest day at 85. Oh, next week's actually going to be pretty nice. 80, it's going to be in the high mid 80s. So, yeah, looks like we're going to have a bunch of stuff to do next week, but. You know, regardless of how hot it is, the shit's only gonna get done if you just keep working. You know, nothing's gonna get done if you just sit on your ass all day and edit videos like I did yesterday. <coughs> Which, hope you guys will enjoy all the videos that are gonna be coming out in between doing the Jezebel thing. So, I, just, I wanted to also show you a couple things I picked up recently. That, check that baby out. That is a chrome plated eight and three quarter Mopar that's like 30 inches long. And if that gives you any idea of a future project, let's just, future project. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna die. And I picked up another 953, bro, because I'm a glutton for punishment. This one's base plate is completely junk, but we got another one now. But it's like all good parts. I don't think our gas has ever been in it because it's, well, it's like new inside, but that's kind of what's going on um not a whole lot of speedy footage you know just working working of course once we pluck this engine out put it in daniel's truck y'all will be along for that sorry guys i lost the clip where i explained that we're gonna do some speedy footage just because a little bit of it never hurt anybody so here we're just ripping off the old exhaust system of jezebel and hope you enjoy just this little bit of speedy footage For everybody ever curious on how Jezebel zoomies look when they're off the car, there they are. This is a side pipe section from like a Corvette or something. And normally only one of these tubes is work is functional and the other three are blocked off. So we cut them all open so they all work. And then we <clears throat> originally it was just these four sticking out the side. And then we got a set of uh, small block Chevy zoomies that we cut up and made the uprights as you can see welds. And then I made these out of aluminum to keep rain from getting in them. But pretty simple shit. Goes into a three inch collector there, slips onto the Gibson muffler. And we were running flex pipe in the early days, but uh, we're gonna get rid of all that and go to real exhaust pipe. That's a stainless steel muffler that Gibson gave me. Pretty cool. So let's get the other side off. But first, wow, Jezebel looks naked without her zoomies. Wow. Had something else. Well, the day is finally here. Dad's home. And we just got to get the drive shaft tranny mount undone. And then we're going to pluck everything out of this old pig and get her ready. That's what we're going to get ready to do. You got any words for advice, Dad? It's hot. Well, yes. Hydrate. Hydrate. We could get a little tent out of the back of my truck, our car, our charger. That makes too much sense. But then it's hard to run the hoist in underneath the tent. Yeah. Unless we cut a big hole in the tent. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. We'll just cut a big hole in the tent. It'll be there for like moral support. Hey guys, if I didn't have a hole in me, I'd be keeping you cool. That kind of thing. We could have it under the shady spot. We're waiting till this afternoon when it's good enough, but we'd be in the shade. 
That makes too much sense. Yeah, let's just get it done. Yep. All right, let's get to work. The old drive shaft's out. That big old honk ass. Oh yeah, I need to fix that. But um, I just remember the camera's still in wild or wide POV. I got the little impact in. Well, I got my impact. There you go. All right, guys. Well, I apologize. The entire video so far has been filmed or filmed in a wide FOV, so it's gonna be kind of fisheye. I just realized that. But Dad's went ahead and pulling the crossbin rod. Right? I had my little Makita deal, but he wanted to use his earthquake. But big old drive shafts out that inland truck made for us, and there wasn't no brick in that son of a gun. That thing's beefy. Oh, we're gonna get that transmission crossmember out and get to work again, getting this whole thing torn apart. All right, well, we got the tranny cross member out. You know, I'm just giving you a fly-by-fly. Fly. Just showing you what's going on. Car's back on the ground on its wheels. We got transmission support with the jack. Took my carburetor off just in case it got damaged. Don't want to take any chances. So, Rachel, everything's ready to come out. This is all separate from the car now. So, we're going to get everything ready to pull the engine transmission out. We're going to take the hood off and get to work. What do you say about that, Dan? Alrighty, well, hood's off, all that fun stuff. Of course, hood's right there. Got the bolts back in it, as you should do. That's a cool looking hood. That really is a cool looking hood. Whoever painted that's a mastermind and obviously a genius. <laughs> Why yeah. there a 3-8 socket in the 516th door? I don't know. I didn't do it. Maybe I did. I don't know. Don't tell him. Watch very closely as that core support and BAM! It got bent out the engine came sliding forward with a vengeance. I guess old Jezebel was having organ rejection so she just spit out that engine as fast as she could. Hope you're enjoying guys. Oh well, there it is guys! Engine transmission's finally out. And she looks pretty damn barren. But we got a lot of work left to do. We're gonna let the sun bake this crap out. We're gonna take it to the car wash, blast the shit out of it. We got our manual steering box we gotta put in. Of course, we still gotta gut the interior and weld in the transmission hump for the four speed, da 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 da, do all that fun stuff. We got a front disc brake conversion, so we got a lot of work to do, but at least now, that's out of the way. All right, guys and gals, it's a new day, a little cooler day. Actually, it's pretty nice outside, but it's kind of warm in the garage, so I'm gonna stand out here and tell you what we're getting ready to do. Um, we had some friends over yesterday, one of dad's old high school buddies, my mom, and they're both not real keen on being on camera, which is fine. But uh, yeah, all that's done. You know, I gave you all the walk around. Ooh, that breeze was nice. Ooh, it's really nice outside today, dad. But dad got our engine set up here yesterday while I was passed out on the couch. I just put all the oil pan bolts and I'm about to get the hammer out and see if I could bust her off because we got to change it out to this here truck pan. So that way it can go in Daniel's truck. So let's see what happens. All right, guys, I'm trying to give you the best opportune angle. I have to get a screwdriver out to knock this baby loose because she's glued on pretty good. We're going to bend our oil pan, but that's fine. It's not a big deal. There it's coming free. There we go. And drop. That baby's got a winded tray. Woo! I already knew that. And this was that first engine dad and I ever assembled. Windage tray. Man, haven't been in this motor for years. Very cool. Uh, just oil. All right, guys. So truck oil pan's finally cleaned out, and that gasket, whatever they had on there, was just fucking gnarly. Got the truck dipstick tube in there, or not dipstick, but a pickup tube. Got all the bolts clean. Getting ready to get our gasket put on there. We're gonna get it sealed up. Put the pan on there and. Well, we'll be done for now. Well, guys, we got the engine covered up because, well, we had to paint Dad's uh, drive shaft for the mower for the Alice Chalmers. As you can see, even as Mopar people and tractors, Alice Chalmers Orange is very reminiscent of Hemi Orange, which is perfect. 
Well, Dad and I got the old pan put on. Everything's done under here. It's all zitched up. So all that's left to do is uh, find Daniel a 383 aluminum intake because the intake I thought I had for that was turned out to be for a tall deck 440. And I want to get an oil filter to sip on there so that way it ain't dripping oil everywhere. But... As soon as he gets his ass in gear, we can get that in his truck. So, apparently yesterday it was too hot for him to have a yard sale, yet we pulled an engine out of a car, engine transmission, and like the 108 degree heat with high humidity. Now it was too hot for him to even have a yard sale. Yeah, I'm trash talking you, Daniel. And today, he was supposed to be here, but all the rain, he's scared of the rain. Well, dad put the engine in the garage and we got all that done without you, Daniel. You pussy. <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying. Well, here we go again, guys. Engine's still sitting here waiting on old Daniel. Virgil's intention was to make a video where this engine comes out of the charger, out of Jezebel, goes into his truck, and he drives away. But he's taking his sweet diddly time, so I'm just getting it all nice and prepped up for him, so that way he ain't got to do much. But uh, let me just show you. What we're going to start working on today it's actually pretty beautiful out today we're in the mid to high 80s nice little breeze so it's a nice nice deal i think the real feels like in the 90s which we can live with but uh we're going to start tearing all this out because everything in here has got to come out except for maybe the dash frame that could stay <coughs> because we got a brand new wiring harness well not brand new but a really nice used original and the console's getting booted out. We gotta prep the four for the hump for the four speed. We got subframe connectors that need to be welded on the bottom. We I definitely don't want the carpet in there. Of course, carpet's gotta get changed for a four speed hump. Taking the back seat back out, that's actually getting traded off for a back seat that's got matching diamond pattern interior. So, but I told him I wanna keep my blue seat cover because he's gonna recover it with a black one. So, we're gonna start tearing that apart. And I originally thought about doing all speedy footage because I know you guys enjoy speedy footage so much. However, I think I'm just going to keep giving you updates. You know, there'll be plenty of videos coming up where I'm actually building the car up right now. We're just in the teardown phase. So I hope you don't mind and I hope you enjoy. So there's the console. And I'll just go ahead and show you what we got done. Seats are out. Got this done in about 20 some odd minutes. Back seats out. That's a little gnarlier to remember, but no oh well. Armrests are all out. I got to get the big impact out to knock these seat belts out. Got the back ones there, but it's a little soft in the floor. About in this area, well, this side's solid. And the other side, the other side, right about that hump, it's a little soft. So we're gonna have to inspect that pretty good. Hopefully, there's nothing wrong there. They really don't want to have to do any more floor work. But if we got to, we got to. But yep coming along for sure don't mind my german music when i'm working out here and i'm trying to get shit done as fast as possible i jam out to some metal it just seems to get you amped up kind of pissed off so we're making her making good progress all righty guys and gals we are stripped clean back down to the floors look at that look at that past job Several years ago with our junk old Eastwood, I man, it was ancient. Just smiley face. Mark, I was here. I used to do that on every weld I did. Got another patch right there, but boards are still solid. Solid as hell. Gotta cut these risers off that we welded in to mount the other seats. And underneath this JB Weld, as I remember, I think that's where the original seat holes are. Maybe that's what that is. God, I hope we didn't weld up those holes. That would suck. But yeah, everything looks good in here. Look at that. A little factory welding wire right there. Not lying, but yeah, I just painted this floor back when I first got the car with some cheap black paint. And eh, it's held up pretty good. So, pretty happy with that. That floor pan is perfect. You cannot get any nicer floor pan than that one over there. Fortunately, that's also the one that seems a little weak. But I can't tell why, but yep, got her all stripped out. And I would love to continue working, but the old girlfriend gets off work here pretty soon, so I got a mess to clean up. And uh, she wants to go see that new Lion King movie, so 
I gotta be a good boyfriend and go get cleaned up and not smell like ball sack, but there you guys go. She stripped out. Alrighty guys and gals, so I do apologize if this video seemed kind of jumpy and all over the place, but eh, it was just easier to do it this way so that way we can get as much done as possible in one video. So as you can see, in the last part, Jezebel is pretty barren. We still gotta take the dash and everything apart, but I just wanted to you know, give you a nice little outro, a closing clip for now. This video has been like three weeks in the making between all the heat and every other project we got cooking. So, you know, just wanted to show you what's going on. And in the next Jezebel video, we are going to start gutting all of this stuff out and all that. And we're gonna start working on putting our subframe connectors in. And we're just gonna be trying to get her done as fast as possible because I, quite honestly, haven't even gotten to enjoy my dart yet. And the dart's not even done. But we're gonna keep working on about every other project every other day so hope you enjoyed guys and if you did drop a comment below telling me how much you loved it or hated this video and if you enjoyed it leave a like and if you're new subscribe if you feel like it if not that's not a big deal you know i may not be the most likable guy in the world and you may not like this big old ratty blue turd but i hope you enjoyed regardless the video of some fashion whether or not you made fun of me the entire time or what so, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, and as always, bye-bye.